Hello. Have you been dreaming about retiring in Panama, but you don't have a public pension or you are probably far away from getting one or maybe not getting a pension because you didn't contribute to your government for some reason? Well, you are not alone. There are options and you can apply or you can obtain uh, a private pension. If you are receiving a private pension or annuity from a bank, insurance, trustee or brokerage firm, which is for life, or of at least $1,000 monthly, you can apply for the pensionado visa. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply using your private pension, your retirement or annuity, if you, yours is private. It is important to mention that you need to get your private pension or annuity from a company, company that is regulated in a country. It cannot be uh, a type of entity that is not regulated, such as a bank, an insurance company, a trustee, and it has to be uh, a type of program or retirement program that gives you at least $1,000 for life. This is very important because I get questions um, about whether if you have the capital uh, saved in a brokerage firm, if you can apply or if you have a type of retirement fund, you save money or the IRA or 401k. Um, so you have to differentiate whether your pension and the payment you're getting from your savings guarantees you at least, or that entity will pay you at least $1,000 and for a lifetime. For example, in the US, I have seen brokerage firms or insurance companies that have this type of retirement programs. Also I have seen that um, the applicants work for a private company during their lifetime, so also in that case uh, the, the private company hires a, comp a brokerage firm, that brokerage firm will collect the funds and will have um, will make the payments to to the person that retire and are getting those benefits and and then that way you could also apply in case you retire from a private company so we also have annuities that are um, provided by banks and also insurance entities the insurance companies will issue a retirement retirement a payment as long as you put a type of uh, capital and sum of money with them they will guarantee you a minimum amount of one thousand dollars or more if you want and they can give you this type of letter that works for our purposes the most important thing if you compare the private type of pension with the public is that if you apply with a public pension you only have to show your pensionado letter your pension letter retirement letter from the institution that is granting you this award but if you are applying for the uh, using a private pension you need to add two more documents one is a bank statement or a certification from a bank that shows that you are getting this um, money this amount monthly so the, the immigration office wants to verify that you're getting this at least 1000 a month to your bank account. And second, the immigration office wants to know that the company that is um, collecting your retirement or uh, managing your funds is existing and in good standing. Therefore, uh, you need to provide a document that is called Certificate of Good Standing, which is a document that basically certifies that this company is existing and, 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 and in good standing in, in the country or jurisdiction where it exists. Also, pensions from investment accounts or brokerage firms are also a good option as long as they can certify that you are receiving a monthly amount of $1,000 regular and for a lifetime. Also, we have trust income. This is also very, um, very good because probably a trustee is 
managing your retirement uh, earnings for, la for, for the future. And in this case, I have to, um, I have to, I have to clarify that it's not every type of trust because maybe you set up a trust for, for your asset planning and succession, succession planning, right? Uh, it's, not, it's not this type of trust. It has to be a trust that is related to a retirement uh, plan that is linked to the fact that it will give you, as a retirement, $1,000 for life. And besides the letter, the bank statement, and the certificate of existence of the company that custody your funds. You also have to gather FBI background checks if you are from the US or the background check from the country that you live at the last two years, your, your country of origin. If you are applying with your spouse, you also have to collect your marriage certificate. And if you are applying at independence, you need to also provide their birth certificates and if they're of legal age more than 18 years old they have to be single and they have to study at university or college so they have to certify by a letter that they are studying remember that all documents need to be authenticated with a postal or by a Panamanian consulate near you this type of visa gives you permanent residency and also once you get your permanent residency card and your e-cedula, you can start receiving the pensionado discounts that are offered with this program. If you want to learn more about these pensionado discounts, you can click in this video to learn more. And this is it. We like to invite you to like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, Follow us on social media and if you're interested in learning more about Pensionado Visa and other options and how to come to Panama and relocate, you can always click in the link below for a Zoom consultation. Bye bye.